Right, so this is just a quick tip for anyone that's wanting to uh, implement the Dallas or Maxim one wire interface on a bog standard microcontroller, whether that's an AVR, a PIC, or a ST micro part. Um, you've, you know, there's a lot of exotic ways to do this by getting uh, transceivers where you might, you know, you might have an I squared C input that generates a, um, a one wire interface on the other side, and it's bi-directional. Um, there is actually, you know, if in your travels, you might have come across this uh, fairly. It's actually a clever way to, to implement one wire using a standard UART peripheral, um, and this is directly on Maxim's documentation. <coughs> so, um, and and I have actually implemented this. It does work. Um, this is something that I'm currently using on a design that I have finished up with prototyping. Um, it doesn't have very much overhead, uh, so I would definitely recommend checking this out. Um, if, if you're clever with how you use DMA and uh, or, or you know if you're uh, if you offload most of your processing into interrupts and make it a state-based system, then um, you can actually have something that's quite low overhead in, in firmware um, for generating these uh, without having to bit bash everything. So um, you'll see in this, basically one wire, um, it's, it's very similar to I squared C, except it pretty much merges the, it's, it's similar to I squared C in the, in, in the electrical sense. So you have a single pull up and an open drain interface um, and either side of the, there's, there's a protocol um, that arbitrates which side is talking at any given point in time. So um, what Dal uh, Maxim basically recommend here is uh, you know, you're, you're using some, um, uh, com uh, combining circuit. In their case, they're using uh, two MOSFETs to uh, merge this one wire um, from the output perspective into um, a single line and from the input uh, perspective, so when data is coming back from the one wire interface to the microcontroller to, sp uh, to separate um, the data coming back. So there is a little bit of firmware, um, and they, they go through this, that there is a bit of firmware uh, dance, uh, song and dance that you have to do to be able to ignore stuff that's coming in through this RX port while you're transmitting. Um, but that's that's nothing particularly uh, difficult to implement. Um, so the basic premise of this is that uh, you have some uh, open uh, open drain interface, which is made by these two MOSFETs. Um, so any data that's coming in, you can imagine that there's a pull down, sorry, a, 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 a transistor on the on the low side on the one wire device or the peripheral, and that tugs down on this line and pulls this pulls the uh, one-wire I.O. line low. Um, and similarly, if the master wants to talk on the TX, um, it outputs an inverted um, version of the data that it's transmitting uh, because, uh, sorry, it, 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 would trans it transmits a uh, non-inverted polarity, but uh, if you were to tie this MOSFET directly to the I.O. one-wire line, you would get an inverted version. So they actually go and pass it through a second transistor stage, uh, whether that's a BJT or a FET, um, to invert that inverted signal back to the cor correct polarity. So this is this is a perfectly acceptable way of doing it. And you know, you, generally these two N seven double O two FETs, they you can get them in pairs, so you can get a very nice compact solution with that. Um, but if you want something, there is there is actually a way to simplify this a little bit further. And um, because if you recall, I mentioned that this is electrically quite similar to I squared C, and you can actually use a technique that um, that's used in I squared C level shifters to essentially achieve this this same thing, but um, cutting out half the half the FETs in this circuit. So this is this is pretty much what we are looking at here. So you know, just looking at this straight off, you can you can. Um, see the resemblance to a traditional I squared C level shifting circuit. We've got our 2.2K pull up in this case, compared to you know maybe a, a 3.3 or 4.7 that you generally use um, on I squared C. The pull up strength tends to be a little bit stronger on, um, on one wire. So uh, it works in very much the same way. So um, as, as, as a traditional I squared C level shifter would. So if you imagine that there's a FET um, on this one wire line that's pulling down on this line, uh, when it gets pulled low, this FET is always on, uh, always has 
3 volts connected to it, in this case 3.45 volts connected to it. So as soon as this line goes low, the FET is in the, uh, is, is in the on configuration, so it's pulling down on this, uh, on this TX line. Not that this actually matters because the transmit line we're not actually, um, so in this case it's PC6 for this ST micro part, we're not actually monitoring on anything on this. This is our uh, transmit line. So there's nothing, we, we have no interest on what's happening on this side of the line. However, it does allow us to pull the RX line, which is in this case I've written as one wire coming into PC7, it does allow us to pull that low. And similarly, if uh, we want to transmit a low on the TX side, we pull down um, and we essentially ground this node through uh, or, or pull this uh, uh, node low via the body diode of this FET. So it works in the same, uh, same capacity. The only, uh, uh, the only change that you have to or consideration that you have to make when you're implementing this, however, is that your um, UART interface or your transmit uh, interface is capable of becoming open drain with, so not driven. Um, on the ST parts, this is possible. I'm fairly certain it's possible on the AVRs as well. I'm not too sure with the with the microchip picks. I have, they're not a line that I've used very frequently. Um, however, if you can change your IO, uh, if you're implementing this, change your IO uh, um, drive to be open drain instead. You don't need to worry about there being a pull up on this line. You can you can implement one if you choose to, um, but it's it's not really necessary given that we have this pull up on the other side. Um, and this pull up will allow the receive side, which is again this one wire, this net labeled one wire, uh, to be pulled high until the device is talking and you pull low. So just a yeah, just a quick way to um, essentially drop half the number of components with a little bit of, uh, you know, a um, little bit of consideration on how your I.O. looks on the ST micro, on the uh, microcontroller side.